Well, my name's George Gilopsis. I'm the director of PLM in the healthcare group here at Nipro. Uh, Nipro's broken up into three different business units, uh, pretty much specializing on contract manufacturing uh, in the injection molded arena. Uh, we're really finding that our business is changing a lot where our customers are coming to us and asking us to do more assembly, to actually do more design work uh, earlier in the design life cycle than they normally do. But, you know, primarily at this point, a contract manufacturer. One of the big challenges that Nipro has is our customer comes to us with some fairly large CAD files and those CAD files could be in any different type of CAD formats. So the big challenge that we have is first and foremost, how do we handle these large files in a secure way. Uh, we don't want people you know, trying to send them in on email. We don't really don't like using FTP sites. Uh, we really need to manage that information in a secure and an efficient way. Um, then once we get those CAD files, our big challenge is how do we keep the revision of that CAD file in sync with our design partners. So when we get a file in from a customer, we have to send it to a mold maker to get the mold designs done. Uh, we also have to send it to the automation machine designer to get the machinery designed. Uh, when we make changes to the customer's file, we then need to give that file back to the customer and they in turn vault it in their PLM system. So our big challenge is how do we keep all of these revisions in sync between our customers and our design partners. So big vision uh, in the future is that the, uh, the item master actually start very early in the design life cycle in engineering and then we'd like to be able to expose that to the ERP side of the house, to the manufacturing side of the house so that we can actually leverage that IT infrastructure on that side to actually get the costing done to kick off the supply chain early in the design life cycle. So it would start in engineering, get exposed to manufacturing and then extend it as needed. So that's a big part of our vision and, and where we hope to get to in the future. From a quality perspective, it's very important for us to manage the configuration of the part design itself to the design of the automation equipment that puts it together, to the molds that actually mold the plastic, uh, to the firmware that actually runs the machinery on the floor. It's very important that we uh, do a very good job tightly managing the configuration control of all of those moving parts. Uh, it gets even more complicated because many of those items are actually vaulted in our suppliers uh, PLM systems. So managing that configuration in aggregate is a very big part of what we need to do in order to maintain our quality levels. We're really looking at the system to enable uh, us to put all of that information in one area and make that information readily available to all the different teams that are working on any given program here in the company.